In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix overlapping vertices. And this was actually a video request from one of my viewers, and I thought this would be a good video topic, so thank you for requesting this. So if I'm modeling right here, let's say I'm modeling this cube, and I press Control r to add a loop cut, and I click and then drag all the way down and then click again, we now have overlapping vertices right down here. If I select a vertex and then press G to grab, you can see something is definitely wrong, and that is because there are two vertices right here and all around the bottom as well. Another way that this can happen is if you're trying to duplicate something and you press like shift D to duplicate and then you right click it's going to hop it back to its default position and now if I click right up here and press G to grab you can see something is wrong there are two cubes on top of each other. Now another way to tell if you might have overlapping vertices is if you see some flickering on the faces. Click on this and press G to grab you can see that there is an overlapping vertice although this one it's not quite overlapping but it's very close and these faces are both at the same exact spot in the 3D space and so they are flickering. So this problem of overlapping vertices is actually really easy to fix. What you do is just tab into edit mode on the object and then press A to make sure everything is selected. Then press 1 on the top of your keyboard or click right up here to the vertex select and then you're going to press M and this is going to bring up the merge settings. Now I want to merge by distance so when you do this Blender is going to look at all the vertices and the vertices which are really close to each other it's going to merge them together. And you can see right down here it says removed 24 vertices and now if I select this vertex and press G to grab you can see there's no overlapping vertices. Now if I zoom in here to this plane you can see because these vertices are slightly offset it didn't actually merge them so again I'm just going to select everything and press M and I'm going to click on by distance. Now right down here behind me there's the merge by distance settings. You can actually change this value. So in this case I'm going to turn the merge distance value to a 0 0.01. And when I did that now you can see that it's removed more vertices and it's gotten rid of that extra plane there. And so if I press G to grab you can see there's only one face there. Now you can also tell Blender to automatically merge overlapping vertices. To do that just make sure you're in edit mode and then click right up here on this button and this is the auto merge of vertices so let's just say I press Control R to add a loop cut I can click and drag down and then if I drag it all the way down so it's overlapping and click it's automatically going to remove the vertices but if I turn the auto merge vertices off and press Control R click and drag now you can see there's overlapping vertices but I can now just turn this on and then double tap the A key and then I can press G to grab and then just click to place it where it is and it's going to auto remove those vertices and you can see now they're gone so sometimes while I'm I'm modeling I'll just leave this on and that way it'll auto merge the vertices now most of the time I do leave it turned off but sometimes I will turn it on if I want blender to automatically merge any overlapping vertices so that's gonna be it for this video thank you for watching and I hope this was helpful and I hope to see you in a future video